New at 10, the safety of students top of mind tonight in Peoria. We're following up after the arrest of Patrick Batillo, the Peoria High School basketball coach and son's superfan known as Mr. Orange, now accused of child sex crimes. Parents showing up to tonight's school board meeting, even reaching out to us about their concerns. Here's ABC 15's Ashley Holden. Valley sports fans and community members left shocked this week, learning the allegations against Peoria High School basketball coach and son superfan Patrick Batillo. Good morning, Patrick Batillo, 121586. Many know the 37 year old as Mr. Orange, but Wednesday he appeared in court in an orange jumpsuit. Batillo accused of using Snapchat to contact at least one male student and offer them money in exchange for sexually explicit videos and pictures. Thank you to our administrators at Peoria High School, the Peoria Police Department, along with the school resource officer for the reporting and investigating. Thursday at the Peoria Unified School District Governing Board meeting, board members addressing not only Batillo's arrest, but also teacher Holly Holgate. According to police, one of the victims told Holgate about the inappropriate messages, but instead of reporting the allegations to the school, investigators say she told Batillo and he left campus. And I will always work towards ensuring safety and protection for children in this district. The new superintendent also addressing the arrests in his opening message. I want to emphasize that our district is fully cooperating with law enforcement partners in their investigation. And we will work tirelessly and collaboratively towards our commitment to the safety and well-being of our students. Parents and community members packing the meeting Thursday, many speaking about the arrests and concerns about safety at school. It may be that we need a full investigation at that high school or maybe in general as people are speaking tonight. We need to set an example that it is not okay to abuse children. The board members denying our request for an interview. The district telling us tonight the employees are on leave pending the outcome of the criminal investigation. We did send more questions to Peoria police after hearing concerns from viewers. They are working on a response. In Peoria, Ashley Holden, ABC 15, Arizona. Peoria Unified says Patrick Batillo began coaching basketball in 2019 and he did pass a background check. They say until now there were no reports of misconduct brought to their attention from parents, students or community members.